There's the good stuff. There's a trickle of people that come across, but to see 30,000 people in 17 days come across the border into one location and be hiding under that, uh, or huddling under that bridge. You say 30,000 people walked across that dam into Del Rio in the last 17 days. Question, why didn't you stop them? Oh, so uh, we encountered them at the border. That's where we encounter them, Chris. And you know what? We saw, indeed, a large number of people uh, cross at one particular part of the border in a short period of time. And what did we do? We surged our resources. We surged our didn't, personnel. Why didn't, and why didn't you stop them from coming into the country? We, um, we did. We encountered them. Uh, they gathered. We did? They assembled. Well, I'm glad they're here. Screw it. They're struggling too, but whatever. Keep going. Keep going. We applied the laws. We applied the public health law under the CDC's authority, and we applied immigration well, law. Is, why did you allow they belong here, really. That's place. where they want to live. Why you build, forgive me, a wall or a fence to stop them from walking in this flood of people coming across the dam? It looks like a highway that allows them to cross the Rio Grande. It is this pol the policy of this administration. Uh, we do not agree with the building of the wall. The law provides that individuals can make a claim for humanitarian relief. That is actually one of our proudest You can have a space where they come through it. 30,000 Haitians who came across the border into We should Calgary. be screening the beautiful How people. Did your COVID. department test for COVID? COVID. So we have We're out here getting COVID yelled at by our neighbors. That we apply this is all below. You see this guy here? We test I don't even know how he goes home. He must yell at his family all night long. Sorry. We work with nonprofit organizations <sighs> to test Families, his boyfriend. Excuse me, sir. I don't mean to talk about your boyfriend like that. Isolated in quarantine. Those <laughs> who are expelled under the Title 42 Public Health Authority are returned uh, immediately. They are not placed in immigration. He actually has poop on his lips. And those we do not test. Because I'm kissing so much ass. He has poop right on his lips. Inspector he does too. It looks. I, Chris, I hope you don't. Policy and the failure to test a lot of Good people gracious, in this country that you rely on local or state officials, and a lot of people don't get tested, has put communities in this country at risk. We concurred with those recommendations Chris, we made in Straight up, uh, that, that guy. Is also uh, nothing new. That Sorry. is exactly why. Maybe I'm wrong. Independent review of our operations to see where we can make uh, improvements, where we can strengthen our processes. I'm sorry, we'll stop now. Exactly I'm not baloney, buddy. A couple of more questions I want to get into oh. with you. Your department is now investigating Hold the up. Border Patrol for those officers on horseback who are at the border trying to keep patients from coming across the border. Here is Senator Lindsey Graham talking about that. I think the most inhumane thing going on right now in America is that the men and women of the Border Patrol have been completely abandoned, demagogued, scapegoat, and treated like dirt by elected officials in the Democratic Party and this administration. I know you've got an investigation going on, so I'm not going to ask you about what they did. What I am going to ask you is who ordered those patrol agents on horseback to go to the border and what were they supposed to do? Um, Chris, I, I'd like to not speak about what they were supposed to do because that also touches Or who on, sent them, watch. Uh, the investigation that is ongoing. Guaranteed unsaid. What our policies and training require. Oh, i wrong. And whether or not those individuals are in here. But the horse patrol is something that the border patrol is always there. We the always use them. Reverse, they can cover terrain that might not otherwise be covered. Yeah, but who sent them there that day, he asked. They were there. They were on the border to block the, the uh, patients from coming across. He just asked you that question. That's all. Uh, Y'all did, nigga. Be honest. Uh, you just got in trouble for it. That's why you're not trying to admit it. You always fucking lie so much. In distress. Ugh. Whether these individuals Border Patrol agents on horseback uh, complied with our policies and training. Yes, they did. They did not. Is a subject of an investigation, and that investigation. Is you should be investigated, sir. The outcome will be determined for lying. The facts and nothing more. Finally, you talked earlier about the fact that allowing people to come into this country to make a claim of asylum is the law. But in fact, and you know this well, sir, more than a month ago, the Supreme Court overruled the idea that the, this administration had unilaterally decided to rescind 
President Trump, former President Trump's remain in Mexico policy that people had to wait in Mexico while making their claim of asylum. They, they made that ruling more than a month ago. Why have you failed to comply with the Supreme Court's Thank ruling you, to Chris. reinstate remain in Mexico? So it is a district court ruling. It's a no, federal, no, it's a Supreme it's a, Court ruling. Uh, well, the, the Supreme Court made a determination on the injunction, but we can talk about the law another time. But let me say this, that we are complying with the court's order. We do have an obligation to implement uh, the migrant protection protocols, uh, and we are negotiating with Mexico. There you go. He backed up everything Trump did and reversed it. Do y'all like Trump so or not? Pick again. Biden said everybody can come, so they asked more votes for the Democrats. Trump was trying to protect our country. Middle class killed. So here's the deal. Trump's trying to build the middle class. They're trying to build the poor class and the rich class, the Democrats. I ain't trying to argue politics, y'all. He just said it. Chris Wallace just now said that y'all reversed everything Trump did. Sorry about the advertisement here. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Chris Wallace.